I think and that brings us up to everything. Why isn't it shutting? What's that there? Good enough. Okay, the car is packed. This one goes up this side, becomes a bit of a table as well. Now we're just going to pull that boat out to here, <laughs> but first we've got some boxes to open. It's two special items, one probably a bit more special than the other, but uh, well they're both special and they're both going to be very nice, but um, yeah let's open them. This box here, I've been sitting with this uh, on my desk, well not that I have a desk, but on the uh, spot where I leave my computer. And uh, it's a special gift that someone sent up that got in contact and uh, it was just an offer too good to refuse. So I'll get a screwdriver. It's been sitting here for about a week and a half and I can't believe I haven't opened it. I've been, I've been strong and held tight and thought I wanted to do it on film. And I was very tempted to sneak a peek. But anyway, let's go and check it out. Let's go get a screwdriver because we'll need that to get in. Mm -hmm. Bring it out into the light a little bit. Nice. All right, the big reveal. Cardboard. <laughs> all right. Oh, I guess we can just chuck it all down. Sweep that up in a sec. Oh. Okay, this is it. Yeah, right. Nice. So there's two of them. Which one is this? We'll open this one first and check it out. Let's just rip it. Oh my. Look at that. So these are something that I've always wanted but never ever managed to get. I've always talked about it, but never, never, never was in a position to either do it or uh, commit to it. But let's have a look. Mate, look at that. Oh, look at that. I don't know if this is gonna pick it up, but check out that. I don't know if it'll focus. Let's see if I can make it focus. I might need to use the phone to get that. So well, it's like the perfect like um, weight and proportions to what I wanted. The case is amazing. This way. And uh, he did mention that he put that in for uh, the uh, cigarette lighter. If I put a lighter in there, just to help me sort of keep everything together. Wow, that's special. Look, and you can tighten it here. <sighs> You know what? I'm gonna get the phone out and get a couple of nice shots of this. That's amazing. So let's open the other one and we'll um and we'll talk more about this. Okay, number two. <laughs> like the colours. Perfect size for um, on the move as well. Got such a nice. Just wipe it down. It's all oiled up. Just wipe it down a little bit so you can see how clean it is. Because even just the little globlets of oil are making it look less perfect than it really is. It's actually amazingly perfect. How flexible. Bit of flex, but not too much. That's beautiful. Nice wide handle. Lots of grip so I can get the angles. That's a beautiful knife. Thank you so much, Will. The covers are great. Belt clip on this one, but not this one. This is obviously for the kitchen or the, um, the camping kit when I'm out and about on the islands. Well, they're both gonna come with me each time. Wow, that clips are nice, doesn't it? Okay, so there's Will's logo.
The handles feel great. This one really has a nice size to it. That'll work well. Pretty flawless work. So these knives um, have come about because uh, uh, I got a random email a little while ago, or quite a long time ago actually, um, and it took me a long time to get back to him as well. Uh, a guy called Will Morrison, who has quite a good name for um, uh, himself when it comes to knife making, he's very, very, very good at what he does, uh, got in contact. And he sort of just out of the out of the blue just sort of said, hey, you know, I've been loving the channel. I was just wondering if you'd be happy for me to make a couple of knives for you because I can see you're struggling with the ones you got and they're not quite as suitable as they could be. And uh, and he was right. And I was a bit like, nah, you know, like I don't I don't necessarily feel good about taking like you know people's sort of hard earned off them and and uh, I didn't really sort of respond for quite a while. And then I and then my computer blew up, so I lost his email. And then he sent another one sort of saying, no, look, I'm serious. If, if, if you're keen, just thought I'd send the email again. And so I thought about it and I went, oh, I better go check this guy out. So I went and had a look and, um, and then it became pretty apparent when I saw it all. I was like, uh, well, look at the quality of the knife and who he is as, you know, as a craftsman. And I thought, well, I'd be a bit of an idiot to not say yes. Uh, yeah, so big thanks to Will. So thanks so much for getting in contact and thanks so much for you know, going to all the effort to make them and to make them personalized like that. So these are gonna go in the Esky now, I'll put them in and um, yeah, we'll give them a run this trip and we'll see if we can actually get a fish to uh, use them on. And then I guess we better move to the next thing and then we'll get moving and hit the road. Okay, this is the uh, second big reveal. So we have a new prop and it's Pretty fancy. <laughs> look at the look at it. It looks so like ridiculous. Jeez, it's so much heavier than the alloy ones, isn't it? the aluminium ones. Um, I actually did borrow a mate's prop recently just to test out what I thought might work. Normally, the one that it comes with is probably around, I don't know, like eight, eight, eight to nine, nine maybe. It was really hard for me to track it down. I looked everywhere online. I couldn't find the actual details of exactly what the original pitch was. But I remember being it being a bit lackluster. So I tried the 11. And uh, it really made a big difference. Like it, like the, the boat took off faster, definitely felt a lot faster. Um, got on the plane plenty quick and uh, yeah, it was, it was like a surprisingly a big difference with the 11 uh, pitch. So it's pushing more water through it and, or it's moving forward faster, but the boat's so light that I don't think uh, the lack of sort of um, top end revs is really suffering at all. This is a fair bit heavier, so I can imagine it's gonna that might play a part in it as well so that's definitely um something that i'll be interested to see if that makes a difference but yeah i'm just gonna whack this on now and and then we'll hit the road and go on the, another trip oh boy look at that <laughs> it's a pretty Pretty amazing looking prop, isn't it? <laughs> and away we go. going on out there boot camp <laughs> and there's a guy over here at the cafe it's pretty funny he's been at it with this blow off for like a good half an hour at least oh dear the old stealth car camping it's actually surprisingly comfortable in here but i think it's a little more lively out there 
What's today? Friday. There's a big ferry coming in now. I guess we better get up and uh, sort of see what's going on out there. Have a look at the boat ramp. I just checked the wind report. Yeah, can we turn this around? Ooh, bright. I think, um, yeah, I think there might be a, a little bit of wind around. It doesn't look like it here, though, but all the reports are saying at least 20 to 25 k's already. Maybe it's just the angle and I'm not getting it here because it looks pretty nice. I'm going to go for a walk down to the ramp and check it out. But, uh, yeah. The uh, car did it again. I got in pretty late last night, so it was uh, nice to just be able to jump in the back and... Um, and have a little bit of a kip but I'm not really meant to be doing it here I guess it's the whole point of stealth camping isn't it Ugh. still a bit dark inside the car so the camera will see if this is actually picking up anything anyway we'll jump out and see what's going on we won't be doing boot camp this morning though <laughs> okay we're going to take the boat out look it doesn't seem very windy now so I reckon we'll just take it out. We'll load up. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. And if the wind does stay down, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just have a cruise around. I want to try the new prop. And you never know, I might jump in the water, but I'm taking a whole bunch of stuff just in case I change my mind and it actually turns into a nice day. The wind is meant to pick up pretty heavy from the south, but doesn't seem that bad here. So we'll get out there. How nice is it to be on my home harbour, eh? <laughs> nice to have the tiller extension back in the house. It means I can stand up easily. Just when you get close to certain areas, you want to sort of stand up and be able to have a look around. Now one of these birds are working, it's because there's a guy fishing there, he's burling up. We'll go around him then. That's a little less exciting for me. There's the bridge. <laughs> well, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> that sounds about right. Morning, how are you on? You alright? Yeah, sure. You've got, you don't have a bilge on that boat, do you? So no, it's self-draining, just goes straight off the back, yep. Yeah. So, it's not a requirement, but you need to have... Yeah, I've got a collapsible in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No cool. That's the one. Awesome, nice. <laughs> Cheers, thanks guys. that funny like I think I've been pulled up once in Queensland over the many years and I was on the water for like 10 minutes and I've already been pulled over and checked so it's funny you get checked a lot more down in the harbour plus my boat just screams like a guy that's breaking the rules so straight away you can see they make a beeline for me it's like yeah this guy's got to be uh <laughs> this guy's got to not have all his gear but we're all good and they were nice and uh we do have all our gear so we're looking good but um yeah, just around the corner here is like the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House, so we'll go for a quick cruise around there. And then the water's gotten really murky here, and uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll just whip straight back over to the other side, and then maybe we'll jump in the water and have a bit of a flick around. Maybe we'll have a flick for some squid. I got the squid jig. So, yeah, let's just go around here. We'll go past the Opera House, and then we'll just shoot straight back over the other side.
pretty cool landmarks. <laughs> Plant ourselves right in this little uh, gap here. I think I've got a little bit too much extension out there. <laughs> and we'll get the old squid jig out. Yeah, because look at that, that looks actually quite clear. It's just a little bit green, green tinge. Maybe I'm just used to this Queensland island water now. <laughs> but Definitely no reason why there couldn't be a couple of squiddies hiding around. So we'll just uh, have a little flick through and then maybe, oh the wind's pushing me this way. I thought I was going to go the other way for some reason. That was a bit silly. So we might have to readjust our drift here but whatever. We'll figure it out and see if we can get a squid. Basically just trying to relive my uh, my past. <laughs> All the things I used to chase. I'd like to get a drummer. I'd like to even get like some leather jacket. You can never really get, you don't really get leather jacket up at uh, in Queensland or not like, not those fan belly ones anyway. So if we jump in, we used to catch them by hand. They were so, there were so many of them around here. Ooh, I'm gonna get washed up here. I guess we better back off these rocks quickly. Take care of that. We'll have another go at that drift. Okay, we've just come around the corner, just out of the wind. Have a couple of flicks around these wharves. I've definitely caught squid around here before. squirt the other way look he's getting ready to squirt big time <laughs> come on let's get you in I'll drag you up the over the top look at him squiddly Whoop. go on squirt everywhere all over the boat yeah yeah great <laughs> I should have just kept him out there I don't know why I even did that Come here, mate. That's primo. If I could get a couple of them, I'll take them back to Mark's and we'll do that squid again. I'll be, uh, Lynn will be very happy with me, Mark's wife, because I'm going to go and stay with my mate tonight. So, that's great. Wow. Sorry I didn't get any hook up of that. Jeez, I'm going to have to clean that up. Come here, mate. <laughs> bit of a, uh, bit of a, uh, ink issue, though. We'll have to wipe that up in a sec. Jeez, that's a beautiful squid. Good size for Sydney. They get bigger, obviously, but, uh, you know, if we get a couple of them, we'll be very happy. All right, mate. Let's get the, uh, we might just put you out of your misery quickly. Give you the old karate chop, and then, uh, we'll put you in the bucket. There we go. And he's gone. Look at that. What a squid. <laughs> that was 100%, like, I was talking on the phone, and I sort of, Hailed it with my ear and sort of just flicked the bail arm over and just one hand cast it out towards there. I was like, ah, oh, you never know. And then straight up, it's just like, oh, I'm on here. I've got to go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll have to call the wife back. And uh, where's my bucket? I might uh, pop him in the bucket. Just threw a uh, bucket of water over there. I might uh, be a bit more careful about trying not to get them to squirt the whole boat. Well, where's there's one? There's usually more. So I think I literally just one handed, like sort of just gave it a flick in there. And then I was just really slowly winding it in. There's nothing fancy about what I was doing, that's for sure. But there's usually a few around, so let's see if we can get another one.
All right, there is one there. I can see him. Let's go back past him over this way. There's definitely one. He's just come out from the weed beds and followed it across. Here we go. Give it a couple of jerks. Yeah, he's onto it. Oh, look, there's quite a few of them, actually. Oh, mate, there's a whole stack of them. Definitely saw at least two squid following it then, but no takers as yet. Got him. Oh, look, he's squirting his ink. Get it all out, bro. Oh, this one's a bit smaller. That's all right. Come on. Get your ink out. One more. There we go. Okay, that's about it. Okay. You got one more water, water squirt, mate? I think you might. Oh, yeah, you know, he's drained himself out a bit. Another good one, though, look. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he's out of ink, though. He's full of water. Look at that one. Can we see that? Another beautiful squid. Wow. We're cleaning up on the squidlies. Got him. <laughs> I knew he was going to come back. I could just see him just casing it out for a while. Uh, come on, one big more, one more squirt, mate. Ooh, there we go. Oh, here's a good one. All right. How's that? Another squid. Oh, it's not a. Get stuck on there. Man. Oh, yeah. It's another great squid. Look at that. Took a little while to get that third one, but yeah, it's happening. It's great. Better watch these oysters, though. I've got to wash my hands anyway, so I might as well push myself back manual. Geez, that water looks nice and clear. Might be about time to jump in actually, before the tide gets too low. Maybe over at Shark Island and get those drummer. A couple more squid first. This is fun. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> you just put the weight down. I didn't even have to work it then. I just sort of sunk down and the weight just came on. He must have grabbed it. I haven't seen much ink come out of here that yet though. He's probably the biggest one today. Oh, look, there's another one right behind him as well. He's just seen me. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get both of you, eh? I'll quickly pick you up. Look, you can see his mate. Oh, I'll try and film him actually. Let's see if the other guys you can see his other mate right there. Oh, I feel kind of cool now. quickly put you out of your misery and try and get your buddy okay so we got you 
I know it's pretty brutal because these guys are sort of <laughs> they're too trusting but looks like I'm going to get a crunch on the rocks in a sec so we get it back up oh and I've got this guy on as well <laughs> oh jeez I feel slack for that guy now he got suckered in too easy oh he's only on by one tentacle though <laughs> that's funny just doing a few things at once then oh <laughs> he's really going for it oh he could come off no but we got him we're inking up big time <laughs> they're getting bigger now all of a sudden that's not a bad squid hey she's a beauty all right let's get this guy off just having a little cruise around to see if i can see any nice weed beds on this side because if we can it's a nice and protected on this side but it doesn't look quite as good as around there Maybe we go and jump in the water at uh, the island. That might be a bit of fun. All right, yeah, no, we'll head back out of here and we'll go over to the island. Maybe we'll jump in the water and then we can uh, call that a good day and go back and uh, see if we can feed some troops. <laughs> Maybe if we can just sneak in here, I might just pull it under this sand. I think the high tide mark, we've gone past it already, so I'm not meant to tie up to the wharf, but hey, look, I'm sure no one will mind. There's a sailboat pulled up there. <laughs> Let's have a look. We don't want to get stuck in here, though. Oh, is this a good idea or a bad idea? I mean, if I'm in for too long, I might not be able to get it back out again. Good idea or bad idea? Possibly bad idea. I don't think we're going to be that long. We, there is a little bit of a channel out, so as long as I'm not too long, uh, we should be able to just sneak back out there, as long as the tide doesn't go too low. I think, I think I'd still be able to get it out regardless.
might zip over to these uh, beaches over here and get changed. So not a bad dive, temperature wise very pleasant and uh, there's definitely plenty of fish around. Heaps of luderick if you wanted those, uh, they're the black ones with the stripes um, and you could have got as many of those as you want and plenty of, there's quite a few big brim and things like that but it's not really what I was after. I do quite like leather jacket just in the pan fried so I think maybe uh, we'll come back and just use a hand spear and just grab a few of them. It's a bit of a pain, they're so easy to spear that you sort of feel slack, especially with the big gun. I did see a drummer or two, but they were all probably maybe just a little bit shy of proper size. But we've got all these squid, so we'll take those back. Mark's actually an ex-chef, so we'll get him to cook them up. Um, we'll probably just do them on the barbecue or something, but we'll uh, consult and see what he feels like doing. Anyway, I might just uh, head back to the ramp, pack up, and then I'll uh, probably check back in when I get back to Mark's. First time using these knives, and I'm not. A, I don't, I'm not even using them. No, <laughs> you, you'll be lucky if you and get these good. back to the Gold Coast. Mate, I'll tell you. <laughs> so we'll do it in two stages. So we'll just get them cleaned up roughly first, and then we'll go back through and sort of put them in nice portion size. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there it is. There. Ooh. So just got to gently. That's the top of it. Just grab it. Just well, it. you can't. No, you <laughs> can't. That's the thing, mate. You can't. Just you've got to be gentle. <laughs> just rip it out. <laughs> Ooh, just gotta, and then, but sometimes it'll tear, so you need to just like give it, <laughs> get, get your little razor sharp knife and just take it out. That one definitely yeah. looks like he's got a bit of, there's a bit of ink in there, look at that. Well, we can, yeah, that's yeah, it. It's bulging. So we can get a bit of, bit of finger painting on the back deck later. <laughs> oh, yeah. So just gentle. <laughs> Something not right about that. Anyway. <laughs> You <laughs> need pasta. Look at that. Yeah. The ink That's sack. what you want. And then, like, yeah. you just, if you just tease it a little bit, so it just comes oh, out. Oh, don't, don't like, do it. Don't do it. You're going to waste it. Yeah. Oh, there oh, it is. It is. Look at it. It's so potent. Yeah. 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 Pop it in there. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> what have you done? Uh. <laughs> yes. Beauty. Yeah. Yeah, That's man. Like, and they're yeah. like their skin's so impressive, eh? Like you just oh, when you it's when so you yeah, the it's like the colours and the change is yeah. pretty amazing, isn't it? So, Will, mate, it's probably better that he's using the knife actually for the first time <laughs> anyway, because he can actually really uh, put it to work. Look at that! Look at that pattern! Look at the grid! Hold it up for a sec. I wonder if we can get an angle on that. It's like perfectly uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, mate. I can do that. Get that. <laughs> okay, so this is the finger lime tree. Finger lime tree. Now they tell me it's the only Australian citrus and it's definitely got some gnarly Australian plant type <laughs> spikes on it, yeah, so you got to be careful. You got to be careful. The desert. <laughs> but yeah, it does these little these little numbers here. You just twist them off. No worries. A couple of them. Oh, oh, there's, there's one there. There's he's one there. A he's a bit, he's he's a bit tiny. Yeah. Might need to grow him a little bit. Hey, if you don't know what finger limes are, they don't, like, they don't they, grow but, very yeah, big. Yeah, like we 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 bursting one over, burst that one over more, Mark. So yeah, so we just we cut that one, and they're kind of like. That. Yeah, it's kind of like citrus caviar. Yeah. So and then like that, all these little individual um, little citrus bubbles. Bursts. Yeah, they all just burst in. There's a, like an amazing citrus flavour that comes out of them. It's pretty special. Yeah. So what are we doing? We're doing sit, uh, finger limes and we can do uh, finger fennel. lime and fennel. So and there's fennel. a bit of fennel at the front. We'll get that, and we'll get a bit of mint for the um, for the salad. So we'll do like a a cabbage cabbage carrot and um what do we say cabbage carrot mint and shallots so i reckon you yeah. can't go wrong with more mint no, that's yeah right. and there's plenty to pick here 
Maybe we'll put this here. <laughs> I know. I made it very clear to Lynn that my like I was like, yeah, we'll move your car around, then we'll put it, then we'll put the boat in, and then we'll move the cars around, and you can put your car in, or Mark can put his car in. But then, like in all the scenarios we kept coming up with, my boat was right there. Like <laughs> this is the head of the fennel, so it's going to seed now. So see that one there? Like I just like let let that fall into the ground, and it just nice like regrow. it just sprouts up, and then that's awesome. I like, just cut it and put it in a smoothie, but like it grows in this big. And then you just ever and then you just get the bulb out at some yeah, point. So yeah. Like, is that one? Oh, that one's gone to seed as well. But yeah. you can see that's where the bulb was. But yeah, yeah, you just let them go to seed. But so that that's like a you can use that as it is. But then these ones, these are just like a nice little burst of fennel. So we're just gonna try one of these fennels here. Mmm. It's almost so like licorice-y, it's really good. Check out these and we might maybe, we're gonna go for a little dive tomorrow morning and if we come up goods, maybe we'll use some of these bad boys as well. Some beautiful eggplants here. <laughs> Always love coming to Mark's garden. Look at that blitzer, beautiful. It's considered a weed, but uh, it's all edible. It's like a, like a Greek spinach, it's so good. Yum, and it's got a beautiful flower. You know. What kind of wood was that? This one? Mm. This is Oregon. So Oregon. this was a this was a column. Column from one of the jobs I did. I just I didn't didn't really want to burn it, I wanted to turn something. Mm. So it's okay. mm. Get a bit of this hardwood in there too. Look, this this could be the first time ever finger lime and fennel squid. Yeah, right. Pro probably not. Have you not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you not done this before? Right, but, probably not. I'm but not. I'll tell you, I'm when, when you explained it, it to me, it sounded pretty damn good. Yeah, so. I'm not done it before. I'm in. But yeah, can't, no, can't no. say why it wouldn't work. <laughs> no, mate. Any of that, that citrus burst has got to taste good on seafood. Maybe we dress it. Let's, do you want to use the hot plate? Well, we could use a hot plate or we could do it as a dressing after, might be really nice. Yeah, we'll do it as a dressing, dressing after. Because that's both of those there. fresh yeah. are the ultimate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, just <laughs> let's maybe, yeah, we'll put them on at the end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Deal. You're into something. So it's changed yeah. from a marinade to a dressing. <laughs> chili oil not to be confused with the vinegar really yeah, you put, <laughs> where'd you get the reaper chili did you, did you get I'll some grow, yeah, grow the reaper chili oh you're yeah. growing them where yeah. are you have to show me those yeah. later on there how good does that smell so we'll put a little bit of reaper uh -huh. so yep. just a just a tiny drop of the reaper oil because well, we, well that was a drop and a half yeah a bit of, a bit of mustard a bit, a bit <laughs> of honey to round the chili otherwise it's gonna blow our heads off yeah. Look, I like chili, but yeah, there is a point where you get where it's sort of like, well, hang on, <laughs> am I enjoying this or am I just cramming it in? A bit of vinegar. Like, like that, it should be fine, shouldn't it? Yeah. Predator. The door again, yeah. Predator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks really good there. And that is that. Nice. Yeah, so the trick is we've got to get these on without them falling through the rungs. The uh, tentacles, so we were going to use a hot plate, but we thought it might be nicer 
to have him on the grill and get some nice grill lines, but we're kind of realizing that uh, these rungs are quite big. We'll figure it out. If the first few don't work, we'll, uh, we'll switch. Geez, they're gonna look good though. Straight on. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, rocket, now you're talking. They look pretty good, don't Man. they? <laughs> just got to go straight on the flame there. Let's just, just, just quickly flip them. We're not going to get them. Oh, that's sharp. Almost done, eh? Straight off. Yeah. Getting here very quick. Mate, they're only they're so thin. You just you don't want to overdo them. You're gonna have a lot of squid. We're all gonna have a lot of squid. So we'll do the last good job, mate. Wood, and then we'll do um. <laughs> I really like coming over to your house and cooking. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. My friend uh, he went on his honeymoon yeah, to yeah, yeah. Where'd he go? Tahiti, I think. Barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, it's awesome, isn't it? No, nah, well, this is what you want. He went, there, he went there to Tahiti and he, everything was on open fire. He was sending me all these pictures on open fire. I was like, what do I have was, an open fire? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> in my backyard. <laughs> So then I got the, uh, I had the fire pit already welded up and then I just welded this frame up for the grill and then, yeah, you just can't get enough of it. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now we get, we can get abalone tomorrow, it'd be nice, oh. wouldn't it? And a lobster. Oh, I did, I even forgot, like that tasted good enough. But once we mix this on, it's going to be something else. Oh. This is the fennel and finger lime sauce. Oh, I love finger lime. Can I have <laughs> some of that sauce? Sure. You can. Well, no tea. that is particularly good looking. Look at that. Oh, bro. Thank you. And do you like the, the wing? The wing or the hood? Oh, oh like, oh, a little bit of everything. Bit of yeah, legs. yeah, no, I'm... I'm well, what is that? Yes. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fill your plate, mate. I want to see you. I want to see you eat it. I'm sick of seeing you eat. <laughs> I see me eat food all the time. It's starting to gross me out. <laughs> it's your turn. Alright. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I know. So... You getting the burst? Oh, yeah, okay. So with like just every crunch is just like a little, little yeah, citrus good. burst, and then that so fennel good. is just so, is so subtle yeah, and refreshing. Extra crunch. Yeah, and just such a little refreshing burst of fennel. All right, I'm gonna have to eat some. All right. You gotta have some. See you on the next video. Amazing.